Hello everyone, today I will show you how to prepare climate data for AquaCrop software. So let's start. First of all, we have to prepare the data in Microsoft Excel. Okay. I have already prepared in Microsoft Excel. So let me open. All right, this one is the data, the data of uh, two years, I hope. It starts from uh, 2021 up to 2022 or uh, seven months, All right? So, we have to uh, <coughs> we have to prepare the data in this manner. That means we have to prepare um, the daily data. This one is the date. Okay, this is the daily data. Uh, 2021 first month. That is January first. Continuous. That's the, the daily data, right? Then after we prepare the dates in this way, we have to. Uh, Put the data accordingly, right? When the solar radiation, okay, solar radiation, watch uh, days, months, as well as years. Then this one is the rainfall or the precipitation. This one is the minimum temperature and maximum temperature. Relative humidity, that is mean relative humidity. And finally, wind speed. <coughs> Okay, uh, uh, you can use solar radiation or uh, total sunshine hours or total sunshine hours. If you have solar radiation, yeah, you can use or if you don't have solar radiation, you can use sunshine hours. Okay, and instead of solar radiation, you can use sunshine hours if you have. If you have not, you can use uh, well, can you have one object, right? Alternatively, okay. So uh, these are uh, around six uh, parameters or um, variables. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six variables. You have to have these uh, variables, okay? So uh, you have to <coughs> prepare um, the daily uh, data in this manner in Microsoft Excel. Then after, you have to prepare this in text format. Okay, so uh, we have to copy this numerical value. Okay, this numerical value without its title and paste in text or in notepad, right? So or let me copy let me copy this. Okay. Right, this one. Copy. And let me uh, start. Uh, okay. Text. Okay, text. Okay. So open this one. Then uh, click on edit and paste all right so uh, these are the numerical values of those parameters so uh, we have to rename this one this this one there we have to, we have to save first we have to save save then can rename rename right so uh, <coughs> Uh, climate climate data for quack crop quack 
crop right car crop so in this manner you can rename the file and then after we have to put this file in a qua crop uh, database right so uh, we have to copy this file copy this file and go to the aqua crop this one is aqua crop go to the uh, database aqua crop then import click on import and save here okay paste here paste okay this one is climate data for aqua crop okay and this way you can prepare the data or the climate data for aqua crop and then after we have to uh, create climate files in aqua crop database okay we'll see uh, in the next video uh, about how to create climate files in aqua crop okay so uh today's video is enough here i will show you uh, how to create climate files in the next video till that goodbye